Hey everybody, it's Anna and welcome back to my booktube channel. Today I am coming to you in character as Tova, who is my jester character for the Make Your Myth Taker readathon. This is a readathon that is co-hosted by Ashley and Charlotte of Myth Take Reads, the book club, the other readathons that you may know, and this is an organization that is dedicated to reading books that are retellings of fairy tales, folklore, myths, and legends, and they have decided to run their first ever month-long readathon that is going to be sort of a fantasy quest type thing. It does draw pretty heavily on some of the same themes and mechanics as the Bookie Trials, so if you are familiar with that, you might be familiar with the setup for Myth Taker, but I will go ahead and make sure that all of the information is linked down below if you'd like to learn more of the details. I'm just going to get into some broad outline stuff before telling you about my TBR. So for this readathon, the teams are divided into four different groups. We have the Rogues, Sorcerers, Warriors, and the Royal Court. Each of those teams has four like classes or character archetypes. So I have decided to join the Royal Court as a jester, hence the hat that I have going on here. This is a readathon where you have four prompts to get through. You can read one book for each prompt and they must be completed in order. So it is a linear progression, no swapping out books once you've declared one that you're going to read and you do have to read them in order. So the prompts for the jester are to read a fun middle grade, then we have the second prompt, which everyone in the royal court has to do, which is read a book with royal colors on the cover. That's red, purple, or gold. The third prompt is read a book about books, and the fourth is read a book with performance elements. There are different ways that you can decide to change your character class midway through the readathon, but I thought, why not stick with being a jester this entire time? So for my fun middle grade book, I am going to be reading The Inquisitor's Tale, or Three Magical Children and Their Holy Dog by Adam Gidwitz. This is a book that is told in the sort of style of a medieval illuminated manuscript. Or, well, there are a bunch of children that are traveling together in search of something amazing. There is Jeanne, a peasant girl who has visions of the future, William, a young monk with supernatural strength, and Jacob, a Jewish boy who can heal any wound. Together their powers will be tested by demons and dragons, cruel knights, and cunning monks. From small villages to grand banquet halls, these three unlikely friends and their faithful greyhound are chased through France to a final showdown in the waves at the foot of the Abbey Fortress of Mont Saint-Michel. This sounds super fun. It's been on my radar ever since it was released a few years ago at this point, and I am just now getting around to reading it. Okay, for my book to read with royal colors on the cover, this is also doubling up as the one book that I want to read for the Queer Lit Readathon, which is the first week of June. And that is The Stars and the Blackness Between Them by Junata Petrus. This is a YA novel about two black girls that are falling in love. Um, it takes place both in Trinidad and in Minneapolis in the United States. I've heard really good things about this book. I know that a fair number of folks on booktube have recommended it, which is what inspired me to pick it up. And it will also help me with my challenge to read 30 books by black authors this year. The third challenge is a book about books, so for that I am going to be picking up The Miraculous by Jess Redman. This was a book that was gifted to me by Rachel Marie, so thanks for the gift. And this is about a kid who has... what is it? Yes, it's a little boy called Wonder, and he has a book that he calls The Miraculous that is a notebook where he records strange and extraordinary things, and after his younger sister passes away tragically, he stops believing in the sort of wonder and magic of the world because he is really going through this period of grief and experience of sadness, and basically it is a story about how he sort of gets through the grieving process and goes back to finding the wonder and joy in the world alongside a lot of the sadness in the world. So the book about books there is his notebook, the titular Miraculous. And then as for a book that has performance elements, this one, I wanted to go with something that wasn't super obvious, so I decided that I was going to read Mouse Guard Legends of the Guard Volume 2. This is a graphic novel that is an anthology of Mouse Guard comics that are by different authors and different artists. Um, the interesting thing that makes this a performance element book, though, is that the Legends of the Guard series is kind of done in the style of a Canterbury Tales, where all of the mice have gathered together in a tavern to celebrate the end of a hard day's work, and they decide that they will have a competition, and whoever tells the best story overall gets their tab paid for the night, so there is a performance element in terms of the framing of the story. Those are all of the books that I am planning on reading for the Make Your Myth Taker readathon. I am excited to do this, even though it will be in the middle of a move. 
Goodness knows that I really need my reading to like stay anchored throughout a lot of these changes, but I am very excited to be doing this. Let me know if you will be joining us with a comment down below or if you have thoughts or anything you would like to share about the books that I talked about. And again, if you'd like to get involved yourself, all of the information that you'll need is going to be linked below in the description box. If you like this video and you'd like to see more of what I do, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because that way you can get updates every time I post a new video. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!